Do you think there's a gap between the rapture and the re- and the tribulation? Could it be a ga- big gap, like 20 years? It's possible. Um, I've always thought there's a gap, and just based on the numbers uh, in Revelation, I always figured it was a month. Um, but like Bill Salas talks about, it's like it takes time to set up governments. Um, then again, if something horrible happened or uh, basically even just the rapture where a bunch of people disappear would scare everybody enough to change things quickly. So uh, it's possible. Yeah, I, I don't think that uh, the rapture happens in the very same second uh, the Antichrist makes the covenant or confirms the covenant. If that was the case, we would know what the covenant is uh, in its full form. And it's sitting there and it it won't go into effect because nobody wants it. And the Antichrist has to make it happen. Um, We would figure out probably who the Antichrist is. And it seems to indicate that we're raptured before that. So we, at the last moment, we might figure out who he is right before we go. But um, so with that in mind, it seems like there probably is a bit of a gap. Um, so if the rapture happens and other problems and that causes a vacancy in the government, wherever this is at, then the Antichrist can quickly rise to power with everybody out of the way. Uh, so I, yeah, it, even quickly, it could be, it wouldn't be 20 years. I wouldn't think in that, but, uh, and I would think if it's going to be 20, 50 or a hundred years, I would think the Lord would allow us to stay here to save more people. So that seems to be the the way it would work, because according to the Dead Sea Scrolls, the rapture is to engender repentance. When they see everyone taken, it's a wake up call for them to get right with the Lord. And a large group of people do get saved during that time period. Um, Also, do you think the Gog-Magog invasion would take place before the tribulation? I think so. We're at the very beginning of it. 